if you buy a bunch of brass piles at the market, it can be a real pain to collect them all. So instead, grab a jar and you can vacuum them up instead of grabbing them one by one. There you go. At the market, you can make preset rigs so you don't have to put the pouches on every time. Let me show you. Let's grab a basic chest rig. Let's grab some modules for it. Grenade, main pouch. Put those on. Once you're happy with your setup, scan it all together. Check out and favorite it. Let's buy one. Head back to the safe house. If you go to the trade room, you can see here's the chest rig we bought with all the pouches on it. And if you go to your favorites, you can buy even more of them. That'll save you some time for having to re-equip all the pouches every time. Tabor also has mag palming. This means as you're reloading, you can have another magazine in your hand at the same time. Let me show you. So grab a magazine off your chest with trigger. And with your hand over top of the other magazine, hold down the grip. You got two magazines in your hand now, and you can slot in the other one. This way, if all your pouches are full, you don't have to worry about throwing a magazine on the ground. So let's do that a bit faster. Trigger, grip. Again, trigger, grip. And this works with all weapons, not just the rifles, you can get with pistols, SMGs, whatever. Can lids and their insides don't have any colliders on them. This means when looting, you can save a bunch of space by putting objects inside of objects. When using brass, powder, or gas, you don't have to stand around the whole time and hold them while they fill up. Instead, take the lid off, put the container on top, and it'll fill up on its own. You can walk away and do other things. Wooden doors can have their handles shot off to open them. Or if you shoot them enough, you can take the door right off the hinges. Backpacks aren't just simple boxes of storage like I thought they would be when I first took a look at this. Here I've outlined the box as best I can and the edges of its collider of where you can put items. If we look at the top of this box, it's actually angled downwards a little bit. It's not a completely flat top. Along the sides, completely flat the storage, completely flat the whole inside, inside this entire box area, including the space sticking out in front of it. You can put objects. But here's an interesting spot on the back. There are these thin triangular areas you can place items in that are only a, two NRS wide. And then this whole center area here is just for the gun storage. You can't put any objects in here. You can't put any objects just next to these. Just these thin triangles of storage on either side where the straps are. The adventure backpack has a really simple rectangular storage space inside of it. Nothing fancy. All flat on all the sides. If you've got any tips and tricks, leave them below in the comments. Let me know if you found these helpful. Thanks for watching.